Travel is already picking up for this holiday week, and it's expected to be a busy summer. CBS2 travel reporter Peter Greenberg has everything you need to know before you book a flight or hit the road. Forty-three million Americans traveling over the July Fourth holiday. More people by car than actually 2019. Five percent above that. Uh, airlines, you're going to have a lot of people traveling, not as many as 2019. However, the airports are going to be crowded and every plane's going to be full. Well, you still have staffing problems. You have staffing problems at security checkpoints. The TSA is still 6,000 agents under where they should be. And those agents are not going to get hired or trained probably before Labor Day. You have staffing problems at gates and at counters. In some cases, uh, one airline is now down to one agent to check in any flight at any particular gate, which is almost an impossible task. So the delays are going to start from there and keep going. In addition to that, you have a pilot shortage. And so that's one of the reasons why the airlines have been canceling so many flights. They cannot crew the planes because they didn't bring the pilots back fast enough to do their recurrent training. So adding to all that, as a result of that, some airlines are actually canceling flights in their schedule through the end of July, which means if you had a reservation, you might not have one now, you need to call the airline. For a domestic flight, about two and a half to three hours ahead of time. You, I used to go about 90 minutes ahead of time. That's no longer going to work. However, what we're also seeing is more Americans are traveling by car for longer distances. And what that tells you is they're choosing not to fly at all. And they're also choosing not to even try to rent a car because they're not available. So they're bringing their own. That's why it's going to be crowded out there on, on the highways, including the fact that gas has never been higher since 2014. So it's a triple whammy right now. Well, the rental car situation is just as bad as it's been for the last three months. During the pandemic, rental car companies found themselves with hundreds of thousands of cars that were not going anywhere. They were non-performing assets that were only depreciating in value. So their CFO said, you know what, let's shrink the fleet. And that's exactly what they did. They sold off a substantial number of those cars. Now that demand is back, there's no supply. And that supply is not going to come back because of an electronic chip shortage with the, with the car manufacturers until probably the end of this year towards Christmas. So my advice is BYOC, bring your own car. Popular destinations this year, it's going to come as no surprise. It's anywhere. Anywhere people can go within three to four hours of their home to at least test the water, literally, and get out. Uh, and speaking of testing the water, boating is zooming. Boat sales have zoomed through the roof. Uh, you can't even buy a boat if you want to right now. You can't even find a marina slip if you want to buy a boat. One caution, though, you have a lot of new and inexperienced boaters out there, especially over this weekend. And boating fatalities in the year 2020 and leading into this year are at an all-time high. The bargains are somewhat ironic. It is now cheaper to go from New York to Athens in Greece than it is to go from New York to L.A. Uh, it's cheaper to go from New York to Milan in Italy than it is to go from New York to San Francisco. Domestic flights are running at about 96% load factor, and yet there's still no international long-haul business to speak of, which is why in some cases, and here's the real irony, it may be cheaper to fly in business class to Europe than coach in the U.S. To the European Union countries, it is easier because it's all based on whether or not you're vaccinated versus whether or not they're vaccinated. And that's why the EU is opening. If you're a fully vaccinated American traveler, you can go to any one of 27 European Union countries. They're open, you won't have to quarantine, and you can travel between those countries. So that door is wide open in time for summer. Well, we are still living in the home of the brave in the land of the fee, and the airlines are going back to pre-pandemic bad behavior. There are new change fees coming. Uh, they're very much uh, focused on baggage charges now uh, and not letting you, uh, you know, carry on bags that normally they would have let you carry on with. They're going back to charging you for checking bags at the gate. 
Uh, and in some destinations, they're instituting a travel and tourism tax. In Mexico, which is a very popular destination for Americans, if you're flying into or out of Cancun, expect to be hit with an $11 tax. Doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it's a hassle because you've got to pay it separately before you leave Mexico.